low self-esteem among teenagers. About 90% of the girls that write to me are really, really young, so aged between 13 and 17. I've gotten so many emails and letters from girls around this age group. Their family members have called them fat, have called them ugly, have made comments about their weight, and as a result of that, they have really negative body image and really low self-esteem. As a girl, nobody tells you how scary puberty is. Nobody tells you the feelings that you're going to go through. You get these sex education classes and you get these classes where you learn about what's going to happen to your body when you go through puberty, like you're going to get breasts and you're going to have suddenly have hips and you know you're going to fill out a little bit and you're going to get your period. But nobody ever tells you about how that's going to make you feel and you're never coached or really taught about how all of these changes are going to affect what's inside of you. Puberty can be such a scary time. For me, it was really scary. I felt like I wanted to be a child because you go from having a child's body to having a woman's body in like such a quick space of time. Some girls are different. Some girls don't fully develop until they're older, until they're like, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, and that's fine too, but that also can make you feel like, what's going on with me? Why am I not developing and all my friends are? Whether you're one type of person or another, it's always gonna be confusing. I hated puberty. I felt awkward. I felt like an ugly duckling because I had gone from being a child and having a child's body to suddenly having breasts and hips and having a woman's body. And that just felt awkward for me. The frustration and those weird feelings that we get are tied up to a lack of knowledge about how to dress our new shape because all along we've been dressing as children and then suddenly we're expected to dress like our new bodies but we have no clue how to do that. How are we supposed to know how to do that if it's just changed like literally overnight? The second thing that really frustrates us is we don't have a fully developed personal style yet. We're still really really young so how are we expected to know what our personal style is? And that is why I set up my channel because I wanted to help girls number one feel better about dressing their body and know more about how to dress it and what kind of suits them and what doesn't and number two by doing that try and slowly develop a sense of their personal style and put like a personal twist on that pretty much 90% of girls who go through puberty are confused and feel awkward and feel weird about how they look if fewer teenagers felt weird and felt strange about how they looked at a young age, then there wouldn't be so many problems when they get older. It's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's not really a big surprise to me that the majority of the girls that write to me tell me that their mothers are the ones that are telling them they're fat. Obviously your moms struggle with a negative body image too, otherwise why would they be projecting that onto you? Clearly nobody was there or nothing was there to tell your mom when she was a teenager that it was okay to look the way she did. Obviously somebody, maybe it was her mom, maybe it was her friends, maybe it was, I don't know, society, whatever, was telling her that she had to look a certain way. So she grew up like that and now she is doing the same thing to her daughter. That's the reason why you really need to start loving yourself at a younger age rather than waiting till you're older. You don't want to end up like maybe your mother is if she's on an eternal diet and she just never is, seems to be happy with the way she looks. You don't want to end up like that. So why follow suit? Why not break the chain and just change it now before it's too late? For example, when I was about 12 years old, um, I remember feeling fat in a bikini in a bathing suit. And I wasn't fat. I was just had like a bit of puppy fat, I guess. Because I had suddenly gained weight, uh, like I said, and I didn't really know how to carry myself properly or how to dress it properly. I remember I wrote in my diary that I needed to stop eating ice cream. I thought that not eating ice cream was gonna somehow make me skinny. I didn't really understand anything about dieting or how to lose weight and the truth is that I didn't need to lose weight. If you are that young, chances are you probably don't even need to go on a diet. Enjoy your childhood, enjoy your teenage years and don't worry about silly things like losing weight or calories or anything like that. So I hope this video helped you guys and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.